Okay, this is Jeff modifying our story pole to a nine inch pattern. make our marks on nine inches and that's going to be the pattern of the pipe. Okay, now, okay, so this is Jeff getting ready to spray paint the pattern. We've got the story pole ready. You can see the manifold in the corner. And now I'm just going to come in here and we'll take a look at what he's going to do. There it is. And this is a nine inch pattern. So all we do is we use our story pole, making our marks. Orange paint pointing down. And now what he's going to do is he's going to take that whole stick and move it forward about eight, ten feet. Touches it right up against the barrier insulation along the perimeter. This is a four inch slab with two inches of foam underneath. And now we have these nice, easy to see reference marks as to what is storage is a spring spring underneath in the last of our pattern. And okay, and I'm back up a little bit. You can kind of see how all of a sudden you have a nice layout for your pipe. And we just continue to do this over on the other side. Okay, let's continue so here to do this. Jeff loading the stapler now. We've got our RHT stapling system. And he puts in about three, three clips right into the stapler. Puts on the counterbalance to heat, keep it weighted down. And uh, we're good to go. Let's do a test staple. Jeff just blast it right into the ball. There you go. Yeah, we have a staple. Do a test. And here's Brian, and what he's done is he has put on the clip. Can you hold me one of those clips, Brian? Yeah. You see, and this is just a simple snaps right on the outside of your pipe. Don't have to cut the pipe. Particularly nice, easy to use. And what this does is this helps us coordinate all the turns as we come out of the slab into our manifold. And uh, at that point, we've got a nice clean transition. It won't be. A mess. All the turns is to come out of the slab. Okay, pipe is going down. And it goes pretty quick at this point. 